Hello and welcome to another SQL tutorial. We are using Oracle SQL Developer, a client-side application to connect to the database. This is one of the tools that can be used to connect to database. And we have three connections, Angel, System and Timon. Each, the name of each connection represents the name of the user in this case. And you can see user system is connected to the database and this is represented by this small plug symbol in front of system user system user angel and user team on they are not connected in last video we learned how to grant system privileges to to a user we granted five system privileges to our user angel and this was the statement this was the command that we used now say for example we had 1000 users 1000 programmers that are supposed to perform very similar kind of activities and each programmer needed 50 different privileges to be able to perform their job granting privileges one by one 50 privileges one by one to 1000 users would make life very difficult and time consuming to deal with such situations oracle provides a very efficient solution with the help of entities called roles you can create roles and then grant any number of privileges to roles and then you can grant roles to users instead of granting pr privileges one by one. These roles really become handy if you want to make any amendments to the privileges that have already been granted. For example, after a while you realize that all programmers needed one more privilege. So what you can simply do, you can grant one more privilege to that role and it will it will come into effect instantly. So we can create a role and the statement is create role and we'll say test underscore role and as simple as that role test role created and instead of assigning these privileges to user angel we can assign this to test underscore role run this statement and you have five different privileges granted to a role. Let me create another user. In this statement, if you remember, create user falcon identified by fury. So we're creating a new user and the name of the user is falcon and the falcon has a password of fury. Fury is the password for user falcon run this statement and we have a user called falcon has been created in the database if you look at the database dictionary select all from dba underscore users you will have this new user in the data dictionary so this is the new user now this user does not have any privileges this user cannot even connect to the database we know that our role test role has a create session privilege as well as some other privileges create table create view and some others now we can simply grant the role that we created earlier to our new user called falcon we can simply say very simply grant test underscore role that is the name of the new role to falcon grant test role to falcon and that would grant that would grant five or even 50 or any number of privileges to the user falcon now there is a data dictionary view that will let you see the roles that have been created in the system in the database and the statement is select asterisk from dba underscore roles so there are a number of roles that are created at the time of creation of database and there are roles that are created by the administrators as you can see these are the roles that have been created by the uh, installation package and this is the role that we created thank you very much for now 